No one should make a commitment to taking their access for granted and just being committed to being lazy and a bum ass person with no intentions of doing anything great or significant. Death is real. We have these moments when we think about death. We've lost friends, family, and loved ones. Death is real. So the question becomes, what will they know and believe and remember you from? From what you did in life before death set in? What will they remember you for? It's not in everybody's cards to be famous, but it is in everybody's cards to work their ass off, develop, mold, and shape their visions and ideas and move forward and be effective. I feel the need to make you uncomfortable this year. I've been very harsh in the past. A lot of my videos are very shocking and kind of catch you off guard. If you think that was something this year, it's gonna be way more uncomfortable. And I'll tell you why. No one ever changed my life from doing anything nicely. Hey, you know, there's all kind of colors and all kind of approaches. There's, there's a lot of different ways to go about love. You have the love that's delicate and tender and gentle and soft, soft-spoken, patient. And then you got that harsh, aggressive, transparent, firm, abrupt, in your face, huh? that type of love. That's the kind of love that I represent. Because the people that have loved me enough to be honest to me, these are the people that have changed my life and made my life better. I wanna remind you of a few things. I want you to disown the concept or the idea of celebrity. I want you as a regular man and regular woman. Now when I say regular man and regular woman, I mean you're not famous, so shut up. A regular man and a regular woman that's not famous. And I want you to think about this for one second. There are more chairmen and CEOs of Fortune 500 companies around the world, domestically and internationally, that are not famous compared to the amount of chairmen and CEOs that are famous, which means these regular people ended up doing irregular things with their visions, ideas, creativity, and more importantly, the execution of the visions, ideas, and creativity. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people with a like-minded mission will help you to bring your visions and ideas to life. I need to reactivate the beast inside of you this year. I need you to get off the pity potty. Stop talking about your ex-boyfriends and girlfriends and ex-wives. Stop talking about all of the drama and dysfunction from your childhood, the molestation, the abuse, the spiritual, mental, and emotional abuse. That is a part of your story. That is a part of your path. But that does not dictate the outcome of what your life is destined to be. Everybody has been put through test. Your test has become your testimony. The most successful people in the world have been through some of the most craziest shit in their life and lifetime. This creates the heart of a champion. This creates the heart of a lion, a fucking beast on the inside of you.
And once that beast gets awakened, you will stop at nothing. Your mind and your spirit will deal with all of the highs and the lows of success, business and determination that comes with it. You will get down to your lowest low and you will look up and you will still thank God while you're at the bottom because you've been to the bottom already. Some of y'all that have been born in the suburbs and you living out there all high and mighty, you are lacking in character development because you've born with a golden spoon in your mouth. No disrespect, that is my opinion. But when you have been through some shit, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, family-wise, drugs, alcohol, molestation, touch, rape, attacks, abortions, you name it, miscarriages, you have developed character. Preparing your mind and your spirit because for every level there's another devil. The depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. I'm letting you know, this year, I'm not fucking around. This year, I'm going to make a statement. And if you wanna sit at home and look at these as just me leaving a video and I'm not gonna do anything I say I'm gonna do, you sit back and you do your job as a spectator and you watch the show. I am going to be effective this year. I am going to be a boulder that drops down into the ocean and creates these waves. The rippling effect of a wave from you being aggressive, determined to be effective. I am not here to be a common man that lived and died and didn't do anything in this lifetime. I am trying to get you to get off the pity potty. Stop talking and empowering what was. Every time you make reference to what was and what used to be, you are giving that negativity power. You are, you are welcoming that negativity back into your life. And it is then stopping you from being excited, fired up and excited about what is to come because you continue to empower what was. I love you, but I love you harshly. I love you aggressively. I love you as a man that want to affect you and awaken the beast inside of you. I'm also flawed. I am not perfect and nothing that I say and do in my one lifetime will be everything that you agree with. Don't throw rocks and don't throw stones because my flaws and my mistakes are different than yours. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and realize that there's no levels to being a sinner. I don't sin that way. I would never do that or act like that or talk like that or walk like that or engage in these type of behaviors. But what type of behaviors are you willing to engage in? Because when it comes to sinning and making mistakes, there's no point system. You don't get a 30 because your sin is lightweight. They're all the same. So when you're flawed and you're not perfect, and you understand that in this lifetime, you want to be effective. You do any means necessary to continue to be yourself, praying and hoping that God deliver you from your own flaws and mistakes and shortcomings. But I must remind you all again that for every level, there's another devil. And a saint is a sinner that got up. Have you ever thought about this? How many times have your pastor been married? How many times have your pastor that you look up to and love and idolize broken a woman's heart? How many kids do your pastor have prior to him finally finding his wife, settling down and living his life according to the word of God? Specifically, we are all a work in progress. 
No one is perfect. No one is living without sin. For all the people that are living a sin-free life, please stand up. Stand up! Exactly. I'm growing my facial hairs out because I got something I'm about to do in a movie. I just want to awaken the beast inside of you. And I want you to walk into your life, your ideas, and your visions as a sinner, as a man and woman of God, as someone that's not perfect, as someone that will continue to piss people off along the way with your journey of character development. You do any means necessary to live your life and allow the world to experience your visions and ideas that you're gonna unleash on the world. Flawed and all, shut up. Perfect ass saints running around here judging people because they're not sinning the way you're sinning. Ain't nobody perfect. We are all God's children. Period. Remember I said it. If you're that much higher up the spiritual ladder because you've been able to, to develop a much better character and live more of a sin-free life than others, well, God bless you. You know, you're giving me somebody and something to look up to. None of us are perfect. Live your life. Get off the pity potty. Awaken the beast inside of you so that you can be effective in this lifetime. If you're making to the end of this video, I am begging and asking that you share this video. Tag your friends in this video, everybody. And just know this, my new album is my last album. Because me as an entrepreneur, I just got a lot of shit going on that's really amazing. And even the most successful recording artists out here are not selling records. And when you got the kind of financial overhead and responsibilities that I have, you'll lose your house trying to fuck around and continue to do music. It's reality, people. It's a harsh reality. But I love you. And I appreciate you and all the energy and love. That song, Dumb Shit, that I did with Snoop Dogg is crazy. The video, directed by Matt Alonzo, turned out crazy. And I'm going to put that thing up on iTunes soon. I love y'all. I used a lot of curse words in this video.